I never stop loving that. Anyway, it's time for Neil's spiel about the left's spiel about the richest sweet deal. And like clockwork, starting off the new year, bashing them and demanding still more cash from him. Shock of shocks. Harry Reid and Liz Warren picking up on last year's anti-rich crusade by upping the ante and upping the threat. For the rich, it goes, I think, something like this. You got it. We want it. Now cough it up and give it. But here's my question. Give, give what? They already raised the top rate to 39.6%. What's more, you throw in Medicare and health care-related surtaxes on the rich, it is now closer to about 45%. I haven't even gotten into state and local taxes. That takes that rate well over 50, close to 55%. So if paying more than half your income in taxes isn't enough, then tell me exactly what is enough. Is it 55%? Is it 60%? Is it 70%? What? What is it? All I know is Charlie Rangel once told me the top rate used to be north of 70 percent. So quoting here, we have a lot more room to go. To go where, Congressman? Back to those levels when you all but chase money out of this country? And they wonder why corporations keep so, money, so much money in other countries, countries that want that money and will offer any enticement they can to get more of that money. I mean, is it, is it me or is it any wonder? The money finds a home where it finds the least resistance and the fewest penalties. That is why corporations seek out havens. They're not stupid. And they seek out those with the lowest tax rates, not the highest tax rates in the industrialized world, not the kind of rates they're finding in this corner of that world. Pity a lot of liberals don't get it, but tragic, they have the nerve to keep pushing it. Just when the economy is gaining traction, despite them, we're risking chucking it all because of them. Because I distinctly remember President Obama saying, finally the rich are paying their fair share when he got his tax hikes through. I told you then, like I'm telling you now, that he wasn't through. Because it is far easier to demand more revenue than it is to simply show some spending result. So, I resolve to settle this once and for all. What is a fair share in taxes? I'm going to hear from both sides. Uh, my friend Naomi Khan says, not 45%. You got to go higher. Matt Schlapp says, not 45%, you got to go lower. Lower, lower, lower. All right, now me, 45% ain't cutting it, what would? All right, so let's talk a little history here. Eisenhower doesn't get enough credit. During Eisenhower's day, your Republican Eisenhower, tax rate for the highest income earners was 90%. You're right. And guess what? Right following that, that caused the highest growth period in the 50s and 60s. And you it went down to 70%. That how many? Four people. <laughs> the captains of industry, the titans, so, all right, all right. were carrying the You want to go back to 90%. Backs. But even under Reagan, it was 50%. Right now, it's at 39.6%. Well, Reagan whoa. brought it down all the way to 28%. Sure, but he started by bringing it down to 50 And then guess what happened? We well, went into recession. Well, it started north of 7. We went into recession after Reagan then. years. Well, were rates a lot lower when he left office? Yes, but when as a result, we had no percent All right, bottom line. So you don't think 45 percent is the answer are you saying 90 percent i am no i'm saying let's find it somewhere in between we're not going to get well in between is like congress. in the 70s yeah but we're not going to get that with congress what uh, we're okay. saying is two out of three americans think that the top two percent earners we're talking billionaires I know what should the, increase the, 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 their taxes what should it be i'd say for the top two percent 70 percent it's probably going to be 60, okay matt 70 percent what say you <laughs> Well, she's even more radical than John F. Kennedy, who brought it down from those rates that she talked about with Dwight David Eisenhower. Even John F. Kennedy realized income tax rates were absurdly high. I think Ronald Reagan, by the way, it wasn't Ronald Reagan who brought rates down to 28. He was one branch of government. It was Dan Rostenkowski and a lot of Democrats who also agreed that we ought to bring those income tax rates down. Remember, Reagan tax. had to deal with a bipartisan Congress, with a Democratic Congress. So, you know, well, that's. Well, I think that, his landslide I, victory got him to twist a lot of arms. You're right about that. But if it's not 45 percent, what do you think it should be, Matt? I think 28 percent as the top rate is much more in line. Because remember, Neil, we're talking about that's where small business gets taxed as well. Ah. Well, you know, there will be this. I remember the Reagan boom we had. Mm -hmm. You're quite right to mention the spending and the deficits we had. Mm -hmm. I just think we, Washington has a propensity under Republicans or Democrats to spend whatever money that's coming in. But a lot of money was coming in from those tax cuts. But right now, the hardest working Americans, small business owners, as you mentioned, are getting taxed the most. And they still, yeah, but a lot and of taxes them are still are, the lowest are, are in 50 years. They're taxed at the, the marginal rate. Sure. And the marginal rate for them is close to 40%. Over the past 50 years, this is the lowest the taxes have ever been. There is a false. The, yeah, so the rich, you're, yeah. you're a very smart woman, and you're, well, you're going to you. be a big star. Well, and, thank and you. And you will eventually be in the 1%. Are you going to be happy <laughs> I will. to pay 70%? I will. You're lying through your teeth. I, I'm an alchemist. I'm like Kristen Bell. I'll give it all. Really? Okay, Matt, I just always think that when I 
when I hear a lot of liberal friends, and I don't know me well enough to say, you know, it, it, she lets me know me rather than know me keep. What does that say? But I always hear this, yet when they do come into money, very few are willing to, to part with, with, with that much that, of their money. That's right. Th this is basically, it's an income tax. That's really the wrong name. It's an income, it's a tax on jobs and on work. What wealthy people do when the tax rates go up is they work less. I don't know why that's good for the economy. Some people actually drop out of the economy and they deal on the vast resources they've been able to save over the years. The fact is we want as many people working in this country as possibly can. That's good for all of us. And by the way, if we're going to raise these tax rates to 90 percent, 99 percent, what are we going to do with the revenue? I know what we're going to do with the revenue. We're going to spend it. We're going to spend it, it. We're we're spend it on new You've you, 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 you got to choke the, the, the beast here. I mean, because the more money you give government, right. the more it will spend. Well, to, to keep the infrastructure in place. I mean, right now there are roads that are in disarray. Oh, come on. We can't. oh, but it's the truth. How do you think we pay for these things? Right now, the middle class is, is Why carrying don't you show the burden the same on the bill. creativity for cutting spending as you do in raising revenue. You know what? Spending has gone down consistently since Obama. The Obama administration. Yeah, are because the Republicans, no, we're because Republicans took over Congress. Congress. Has gone down. And who cost? Look, and who brought that up? Your Bush. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Our spending, our, we spend more. Our budgets go up each and every single year. The we got five trillion dollars. The deficit has gone down more than fifty percent. No, 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 no. We're, we're crowing about half trillion dollar deficits mm -hmm. when they were a trillion. We think we did a home run. Mm -hmm. But those deficits have added to our debt. Our debt is now five trillion dollars higher. You're okay with that? I'm not okay with that. But we, I mean, that's why we're we should tax more. the people who are making the most money. All right. And 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 the middle income earners wow. are subsidizing them. Is that I'm fair? I'm now going to call you Cookie Nomiki. <laughs> that's what we call you. Uh, I'm kidding. Um, guys, we'll see. We can debate this, but I, you get an idea. What is it? 45% north-south? What is it? Well, I, I don't care in the meantime how thin you are.